Now then guys, today we're going to be talking about my Top Gear experience during school. Behind me is St James's house, used to, used to host BBC Radio Humberside. And believe it or not, Richard Hammond himself used to come here every Friday, every Friday. And I remember as a kid, we used to twag school. <laughs> we used to twag or wag, twag, bunk, whatever you want to call it. We used to sack school off like to, <laughs> to, to get a sneak preview of who was coming through this week and what Richard Hammond was driving. It usually was his Beamer to be fair, but there was always a surprise when he come down the subway through here. You can't really see at the minute, we're doing work. But all this below space here is open and it goes into a subway. And the subway is where Richard Hammond used to pull in. And uh, park around the back here, but it's all boarded off at the minute. So I can't, for doing, for do, I'm gonna have to come back and do a proper one, Anna. Eh? But this is my Top Gear experience. Grimsby at St. James's house. Yeah, some fun memories, I tell you. Um, we'll have a, well, actually, we'll have a quick scoot over here, see if we can actually see, see the car park. Because before they started doing the renovations to this building, the, um, the parking plates were still on the wall, you see. So it said BBC parking. Let's have a look behind here. I think it's all blocked off to be fair yeah it's all blocked off unfortunately yeah all blocked off so you could get through through that corner there around to the subway yeah you see it's all at least something's getting done with the building at the very least you know it's getting re-renovated i don't know what into maybe i should look into that for this video eh um yeah, this, this little place in a little town called Grimsby, this was my Top Gear experience. And yeah, we used to do it every Friday, Friday morning, we would wait for Richard Hammond to pull in to do his morning show for the BBC Humberside Radio. So, um... I'm going to take you around the back. We'll have a bit of a gander over there and I'll show you exactly where he used to pull in. We'll keep this going. We'll keep this as a yeah, real life time and things and all that. But yeah, this was my Top Gear experience. We used to bunk off school. There was, I can't say names because I'll get them into trouble, you know what I mean? But if you remember coming down here to St. James's house with me during teen years, then <laughs> definitely you, you used to come join us. Um, there's this, this silly building in front of me now, modern building, uh, for solicitors and the local housing association. This wasn't here back in the day. So Richard Hammond pulled up into town now to get into work. You'd be like, well, hang on a minute. The building's shut down. I can't find the car park I'm supposed to be parking in because there's this big white building in the way. That monstrosity of a building in the way. But yeah, um, we're nearly there towards the back now. And I'll uh, show you where we used to bunk. We used to bunk every Friday. And here it is. So down the side of this uh, new horrible white looking building, I'm in the car park of this building, which leads to where Richard Hammond used to pull up in his Beamer and his uh, purple, mus was it a Mustang? I can't remember. But um, here we are. This is the place. 
this is the place. I don't know if you can see in there. We used to, fuck it, let's get in the bush, bugger it. We used to, we used to come down here and these little bench places here, we used to sit on there and we would literally wait for Richard. Can you hear the echo? So you can imagine when he pulled up in his cars, vroom, vroom, we was fucking teen, like not even teenagers. Vroom, vroom. Imagine it. Just imagine it. So yeah, this, this place was my Top Gear experience. I thought I'd share this with you. Cause I do have some fond memories of this. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know, coming down here to Agin School for the, for the day, just to catch that little glimmer moment of Richard Hammond coming through this subway tunnel, roaring, roaring through it. Ah, it gives me shivers thinking about it. Honestly, it does, guys. Like, and with the, the latest news, one for the road. It's taken me till today to come to terms with it. It really has. It's a sad day and age we're living in nowadays. Too many changes. And I don't blame the lads for not doing their thing anymore. With these electric things on the fucking road, you know what I mean? Causing more damage than any goats. But yeah. It's St James's house. Through the subway. This used to be a road. It's now a car park for a silly modern building. But yeah, we used to come down here every Friday morning, man. Vroom, through that fucking subway tunnel. You can even still see where they used to lock it up. This post here used to have like a barrier. One of those barrier things that used to come down. Yeah, like bro, like this is serious nostalgia for me really is. I passed it. I passed this place most weeks. And to be honest with you, it doesn't slip my mind. With this latest stuff for the news with the, with the three boys, they're not, going to be fil they're not going to be filming anymore. And I'm sad to say that. I really am. <sighs> Thank you, boys, for everything. For the memories. Not just for a nation, but for a world. For the world. You have won the world hearts, lads. Thank you for the memories.